George Kilpatrick, new inspiration for the nation, celebrating the positive achievements of African Americans from all walks of life, people that we feel good about. And our next guest is someone that we certainly feel good about. Elaine Merrill Brown joins us. She's the author of The Little Black Book of Success, Laws of Leadership for Black Women. Now, Elaine has also co-authored the book with Marsha Haygood and Rhonda Joy McLean, and also a, an executive in the media business. But she's here to talk to us about how you can take care of your success and take charge of it. Now, I tell you one other thing you should know. Brothers, you may have a little bit that you can get out of this, too. But we're so pleased to be joined once again by Elaine Merrill Brown. Elaine, good morning to you. Good morning, George. How are you today? I am great. I'm ready to take charge of my success. It's just that I'm not a woman, but that's okay. Well, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone should take charge of their success. Well, you know, uh, you and I had a, a brief conversation a little bit before our conversation on the air, and, you know, you have to be responsible for everything in your life, your career. You are responsible for it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we talk about in the book, the first person you lead is yourself. You know, and that's true. So one of the one of the things I want to commend you on, and I'm going to say that this is one of the first lessons in leadership. Are you ready? Right out of right out of my own head. Are you ready for this? Yes, I am. <laughs> All right. That you knew right a, right away that you needed partners to make this book happen, and often we don't take uh, we don't look for other resources to make the things happen that we need to make happen. So, congratulations to you for recognizing that. In collaborating on this book, you could get to the same goal. Thank you so much. And you know what you said is absolutely right, and it's and it's key because the goal was to get a book written and out the door for Black women, specifically on the subject of leadership. Because when we started looking at the book, or when I started actually, the, the whole concept, the whole notion, the idea was inspired by me, and I had tried several times to write it on my own unsuccessfully, but was determined to achieve that goal because there was so much information that I had learned and wanted to share. And fortunately, my, my co-authors, Marsha and, and Rhonda, who have been in the leadership uh, game longer than me, had much to bring to the table and, and, and pretty much shared the same mindset as, as me, is that we wanted to reach back and bring others along. We wanted to write the kind of book we wish we had when we were first starting out in our careers because there was none. So part of leading yourself also means um, putting the right team together to achieve your goals. If you can't do it yourself, and oftentimes we, especially as, as women, don't ask for help. We, you know media or what have you, you know, we're strong, strong black women. I mean, we're fed this notion that we can do things on our own, and oftentimes we can, but, you know, not at the expense where, you know, it might make us sick, may make us depressed. We don't want to get to that point. We need help. We need to learn to ask for it. And that's where I was in terms of writing this book, because I knew it was important and I wanted to get it out there. Well, you know, and, and, and get it out there indeed. So uh, the Little Black Book of Success, Laws of Leadership for Black Women, what makes this important specifically for black women? Well, as I, as I mentioned, there was no book on leadership for, for black women when we first started looking at this uh, around 2008, 2007, uh, started to put the proposal together to look at a competitive analysis. And, and even more specifically, just rewinding a little bit, I was actually invited by uh, HBO, my former uh, company, to take a leadership class. And as a vice president in a creative area, I never really considered myself to be a leader because I had never led mm -hmm. any organization, led any groups, whether it's church, whether it's in a community, whether it was in school. So I never considered myself to be part of that group. But once I was in uh, this class, I realized that leadership can be taught. Re leadership skill sets can be taught pretty much like math, like English. There are rules, there are principles. And, and once I sort of got my arms around that notion, I began to think, oh, my goodness, it's when my aha moment. Imagine how many black women who may not have access, resources, or opportunity, imagine how much further along in their leadership journeys they could be if they were aware of these principles. And that's when I knew that I had to write about that. As you mentioned, I'm the, the author of, of, of two novels, Lemon City and Playing by the Rules. So that was my way of, of, of sharing with people, and I knew I had to 
spread the word because I we'll talk with Elaine Merrill Brown. No, you know, there's another three, four hours in this conversation, but that's for another time. The book, The Little Black Book of Success, Laws of Leadership for Black Women, Elaine Merrill Brown, Marsha Higgard, Rhonda Joy McLean. All right, Elaine. Yes. Thank you so much for being George on the program. Has been fabulous. Thank you. George Kilpatrick, new inspiration for the nation.